when you have a horse, a lot of the money that you earn ends up going to take care of that horse. And it always seems like we're always looking for the newest and latest and greatest thing that we can use for our horse. And I think that's pretty evident in all of the neat products and grooming tools and things that you can find for your horse. But sometimes they're a lot of money. But they don't have to be. So today, I'm gonna to go over my favorite bargains that I find at the dollar store to use for grooming my horse. Hello, my equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And like I said in the beginning, I am going to be sharing with you stuff that's in these bags from my most recent dollar store excursion. Now, some of the horse things that we buy are really expensive. Some of them we need, and some of them they just look really cool, so we want them. But I have to say, one of my favorite places to shop for things for using around the barn, in my tack room, and even grooming my horses, I can find at the dollar store. Yeah, Dollar Tree is an equestrian's best friend. So, I have a couple of bags here full of stuff, and one extra thing that I wanna share with you, and maybe it'll give you some ideas of things that you can get at the dollar store and save a little bit of your hard-earned money for other things like shoes for your horse's feet, or a new pair of riding boots, or maybe even a saddle. Some of these will be really helpful for you, and if you have any ideas or things that you like to buy at the dollar store, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite things are for grooming your horse that you can find at the dollar store. Okay, let's get into this stuff, shall we? And since this is not in a bag, why don't we go over this first? This is basically a tiny little tote. And this tote is super helpful for if you're putting together like a small grooming kit or a wintertime grooming kit, which I like to do or how I like to use this is my barn doesn't have electricity and it's not insulated, so everything freezes if I leave it outside. So I like to keep my freezable products in this tote and I keep it in the house and then when I need to, I just take it outside with me to the barn. It makes it really easy so that all of my freezable products don't freeze and then I can use them when I get an opportunity to get outside. So. This little grooming tote is awesome. I love these things and I really like the bright green color. It's really pretty. One of my favorite colors. All right, now my second most favorite thing that I get at the dollar store. Actually, I think these are my favorite thing that I can find when I go. These are super soft microfiber cloths and they really are super soft. They are wonderful for grooming your horse, and if your horse doesn't like being sprayed with a sprayer, you can use these for applying fly spray, you can use it for cleaning their faces, just giving them a nice once over after you're done grooming them to get the dust off. These would be really great in a ringside bag if you show your horse, but for me, I like to just keep it in my grooming tote, at least one or two of them, and then when they're used up, I simply bring them inside, throw them in the wash, and they are good as new. You can find these in the automotive section at the Dollar Tree. And if you can find them, I highly encourage you to get them because they're really nice. And these aren't small microfiber rags. They are a really good size. That's probably 12 inches by 24 inches, maybe. I don't know, but I really, really like these. And sometimes they don't have them, but when they do, I end up buying a couple of them because for a dollar, they are a fantastic addition to your grooming kit. They also work really good for dusting furniture and stuff in your home. And to go along with the microfiber rags, there are some utility towels. Now these come in a pack of two. They're bigger than washcloths and they're exactly what they say they are. They are utility towels. So you can use them for wiping off your horse, giving your horse a bath, use it on your tack. Lots of uses for these towels. And for a pack of two, that means they are 50 cents a piece, which is a really good deal. So again, when they get dirty, I just bring them inside, throw them in the washer, and they're good as new. And of course, baby wipes. 
And this is a 40 pack of baby wipes. It's fragrance free. And these are wonderful for wiping out your horse's eyes, wiping off their noses, wiping off around their mouths, underneath their tail. And you can even use them for yourself. So if your face got dirty, you can use a baby wipe. And right now where I live, it is winter time. So these baby wipes will freeze. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to put them into my handy little tote. And then I can keep them in here. They will stay room temperature because I just take my tote with me when I go to and from the barn if I'm gonna be grooming my horses. Pretty neat, huh? And I found another microfiber towel. And this is only one. Now this one works really well. I've bought them before, so I bought a few extras. But it is a lot smaller than the big automotive towel. It has its purpose and its uses, but I really like microfiber towels. This is more of a microfiber. This one's more of like a fleece, but both of them work really well for grooming or wiping down your horse. So lots of towels. And sponges too. All right, so this is a six pack of sponges and Sponges can be used for multiple things. You can use them for cleaning your tack. You can use them for cleaning out buckets, cleaning your water tank. So many uses for sponges. And I like this style because it has a very coarse side and then it has a soft side. So I probably wouldn't use the coarse side on my tack if I'm cleaning my leather, but if I'm cleaning out water tanks and stuff, yeah, I'm gonna use the coarse side and it's really unique with the shape of it. It's kind of like a T, so it makes it really easy to grip when you're using it to clean. Now, I love baby oil for my horses, especially if I'm gonna be taking pictures of them, then I will put a little bit of baby oil on their faces, so like their muzzles around their eyes, and it really just brings out a nice shine. You can also use it on their manes and tails, but I would caution you, I wouldn't use baby oil if it's super, super bright and sunshiny like in summertime because the baby oil will attract the sun and it can in turn burn your horse or cause your horse to get a sunburn. So it's really nice just to give a nice shine to your horse. And it smells good too. I like the way baby oil smells. I'm sorry, I might be weird, but I really like this and I do like putting it on my horse's faces as long as the sun is not too bright. So baby oil is something else really nice you can find at the dollar store. And to go along with the baby oil, how about some baby wash? This baby wash is lightly scented. Let's see what it smells like. I haven't opened this one. That smells good. So you could use this for washing your horse. I like to use this for washing my horse's hooves. Um, you could use it for cleaning out your buckets, I guess, if you didn't have anything. Or you can even use it as shampoo for your horse's mane and tail or his body. And it's a very gentle, so it's not going to dry out his skin. If you can use it on a baby, I'm pretty sure you can use it on a horse. Now, this is something that I just recently found at the dollar store, and it is called Brillo Basics Erase and Wipe and it's cleaning without chemicals. So this is made to be like the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And again, it's got a firmer side and then it's got the white side, which is probably the magic eraser part. But that would work great for cleaning your horse's hooves, cleaning off some tack, cleaning buckets, and just general cleaning. Now this is actually soybean and extra virgin olive oil. It is a blend. They didn't have just plain olive oil when I went to my local dollar store, but you can use this on your horse's hooves if you don't have any hoof oil and you wanted to put a nice shine on them. Don't do it before your farrier comes. It might be a little slippery, but some people also use olive oil for oiling their tack. I personally like to use tack products, but if you don't have anything, and people don't seem to have any issues with olive oil on their tack, so you could use it on your tack. But I like to use it on my horse's hooves if I'm running out of hoof oil. So it works in a pinch and it's only a dollar.
Something else that I really like to use on my horse's hooves and actually under their tails too, if they get itchy skin, is coconut oil. Now this is refined coconut oil, and of course it was a dollar because I got it from the dollar store. But this coconut oil will become a solid in cold weather, and it becomes more liquid when the temperature warms up. But I really like using this on my horse's hooves. My horses have great hooves, by the way. But coconut oil works really well for that. You just put a paintbrush or a hoof brush into the coconut oil, and then you just wipe it on your horse's hooves. And like I said, this will turn solid in colder weather and warmer weather, it turns into a liquid. So liquid coconut oil is refractionated coconut oil. And I use that when I'm making different homemade DIY oils and treatments for my horse's manes and tails. But this works really great for lots of other things around the barn and for grooming your horse. Now, I cannot believe that I was able to find this at the dollar store. This is a goody hairbrush. And this is like, I don't know, it was like popular in the 80s. And I love these hairbrushes. They work great on manes and tails. And finding it for a dollar was definitely a bargain. I've looked since I've been back because I go a lot, but they don't have these all the time. So when they do have them, I do get one or two because they do last a really long time. They're a nice smaller brush that fits in your hand and it, and like I said, this is probably one of my favorite brushes for brushing manes and tails without pulling a lot of hair. Very, very nice. And how about diaper rash cream? I know that probably sounds crazy. You're like, diaper rash cream for a horse? But hear me out, diaper rash cream has zinc oxide in it and zinc oxide works really well for protecting skin. So you could use this if your horse had a scrape or a cut or an irritation on his skin. It also would protect his nose or white spots from getting sunburned, that's the zinc oxide. And it also works really well to keep moisture out. So like if your horse has scratches that he's healing from on the back of his legs, you could use some diaper rash cream and that will help to keep the moisture out and hopefully help your horse's legs. You can also use this anywhere that your horse might have a rub from his tack. And if your horse happens to have a case of diarrhea and it just kind of like messes up his back legs and irritates his skin, diaper rash ointment is awesome for that as well. And how about some scrub brushes? Now this scrub brush, I really like this one because I can hang on to it pretty easily, but these are fantastic for cleaning the algae and stuff that gets on water tanks, especially in the summertime, because it's got really short stubby bristles and they make really fast work of the algae that happens to get in the water tank. And that's why I like the handle up on top because then I can scrub, scrub, scrub and my hands aren't getting in the algae and I can get my tanks nice and clean. These work really great on buckets too. And to go along with the scrub brush, every once in a while I can find the Dawn Platinum dish soap when I'm at the dollar store. And this stuff is incredible. It's very, very concentrated. A little bit goes a long way. It works fantastic for cleaning out water tanks, getting rid of the algae. You can also use it for cleaning your horse's hooves. If you wanted to, you could use it in a pinch for shampoo, but this is something that I really like and I like the size of the container, so it works really well to keep outside in the barn. But again, when it's freezing, I will put it in my handy dandy little tote and bring this inside the house. So of course the dollar store has squirt bottles, water bottles, but every once in a while you can find some really nice spray bottles. Now these are a metal or stainless steel container and then it has a really nice heavy duty sprayer on it. Now the sprayer actually has a thicker tube and it seems like it's pretty heavy duty. So I'm really excited that I found these because about a month ago, I bought some Sport Horse Essentials waterless shampoo and I wanted to try it out. But unfortunately, the spray nozzle that came with the waterless shampoo kept clogging. So I'm really excited to put this spray nozzle into the Sport Horse Essential waterless shampoo and see if it works a little bit better. The tubing is definitely thicker than the one that came 
on the bottle that I purchased. So that is going to have to be a video for another day because I'm really excited to share that with you. But I was really excited when I found these. They had different colors. I think they had red, they had silver, and I believe this is supposed to be rose gold. Kind of looks like rose gold, but now I got two new squirt bottles that I can fill up with stuff. All right, so those are my latest finds from the Dollar Tree. I'm super excited to go out and use all of this stuff. And like I said, the best part is everything is a dollar. So if I have a couple extra dollars, I can go to the dollar store and buy lots of things that I can use in my barn, my tack room, and for grooming my horses. And I don't know about you, but I am so excited because when I took Pleasant's blanket off this morning, I noticed he's starting to shed. Yeah, that means that spring is actually on its way. So excited. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait so I can get out there and start playing with them and doing things with them each and every day. And it seems like it's been a really long winter too. So hopefully winter is on the way out, spring is on the way in, and we can all have some better weather so we can go play with our horses and have some much needed fun. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.